<laughs> okay. Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of Just Hit Play. Okay, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so in today's episode, we are going to talk about Instagram removing the number of likes from posts and hopes that you will actually like content because you actually like it rather than the numbers that it's getting. How do you think that's going to impact people? Uh, Especially influencers who actually make a lot of money off of Instagram and off of these. Does anybody still have access to this information? Yes. So. Um, so, for example, if you post a picture and uh, people like it, you still get to see the numbers, but everybody else who's viewing the picture won't be able to see the numbers. Can anyone else? No, just you. Just me? Yes. Yeah, so only you know how many people liked your post, but you can't brag about it because nobody else knows how many people liked that post. And Instagram knows. I'm sure Instagram knows, yeah. So they know whose information to sell. I don't think that's the way it happens though. I don't think I don't think sponsors go straight to Instagram and say, hey, give us the numbers of so and so. Well not directly. But there was a debacle with Cambridge Analytica. Facebook was selling users' information to a think tank which uh, like consults companies on how to target mm -hmm. demographics. So uh, essentially your information was sold to a company that helps you things be marketed to you. Okay. So your whatever privacy you had is eroded, you're for sale. And Instagram is actually owned by Facebook now, yes. so... Okay, that's interesting. So, I mean, the full disclaimer before this starts is I'm not a social media personality. I don't know as much as somebody who's probably involved in social media. Um, and most importantly, I don't really care. That topic. <laughs> right. So maybe my opinions are somewhat uninformed and slightly cynical, but I'll put it out there. I think there is no privacy. Everything is for sale. Um, I kind of disagree with that because I think that you, you are in control of what you put out to the world and you get to show the world the parts of you that you actually want to show. Uh, so I think you can maintain a certain level of privacy. Well, it's, uh, I mean, it's, it's a bit of a double-edged sword mm. because all these platforms kind of uh, simplify connection with people who you don't necessarily want to connect or you don't want to kind of authentically connect. Right. So I read somewhere that a person, a social creature, has the capacity to maintain like 50 healthy relationships. Let's say it's, let's say it's 50 or 100. Okay. If you have 500 friends on Facebook, they're not all your friends. No, obviously not. No, They're just people who kind of look at you and try to adjust their happiness level according to how happy you present yourself to be. Yeah, and I think it's it's like people you've kind of collected yeah. <laughs> in a sense, you know, yeah. from, from school, from university, from your previous job. So they're not really your friends' friends, but you just... They're your wallet. Right. That's how many people in, in I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's a wallet with not very much value. Uh, well, it's not until it, it, until it is. What do you mean? Uh, well, what, one of uh, Donald Trump's most common uh, brags is that he has like either 400 million people following him on Twitter or something like that. Is or it 40? I, I, yeah, it's... He's in the top... Funny. Top five or top ten? I doubt it. I think S I think Selena Gomez has more followers than he does. Maybe she does, but he's in the top five or top ten globally. Twitter accounts. I don't followers. think that's true. Shall we check that out? Let's look it up. I promise you. Do you want to put some money down on this? Make it more interesting? Sure. Okay, he's number 12. Number 12 was 62. Okay, he's not in the top ten or top five. He's in the top 12. He's at the bottom of the top 12. Yes, he is. But the point is, is like, he understands that this is a currency, how many people you can, you can reach at one time. Mm. If I, uh, 
you know, that's that's a valuable account to have. Right. Because whatever you say, straight away it reaches that many people. Yeah, but Facebook works differently. Well, like Selena Gomez's uh, Facebook page. Right. Does she have to friend you to... No, you just follow it like, like you do on Twitter and Instagram. So it's the same thing. I, I think I need to educate you on how to use social media a <laughs> little more. I mean, I'm no social media guru. And I, and I think if you go to my Instagram account... Compared to me, you are an accomplished social mediaite. Yes, but I think I, I've always said this. I think if I wasn't a musician, I wouldn't be using social media in the first place because I... You would I, not? No, I wouldn't use social media. So I, because the, the main reason I used Instagram in the first place was because I really wanted to document my memories and my, and my travels and, you know, like have something to look back on as the years go by. But then it, you know, it turned into this ugly fame competition and things got a little bit out of hand. And I just, I just find the whole concept of social media quite repulsive at this point. So if you go to my Instagram, you'll notice that I haven't posted anything since like March and we're in July now. So that's not really good for a pop star, but I'm, I'm hoping that I will start using it more because I feel like people expect something from me and I feel like I need to deliver to, to make their, to make, you know, their experience following me worth it. Because a lot of people don't like the fact that they have a large following number which is the number of accounts that you actually follow. Okay. So if you're going to follow me, I need to make your experience worth it. And that, that's, that's how I look at it. And that's why I kind of refuse to post anything that's uh, meaningless or it doesn't add value to people because I don't take people's time for granted. I don't take all that stuff lightly. I feel like if you're going to view a post of mine, then you better get something out of it because your time is precious and it's it's honestly the, it's it's a currency. Like your Instagram post is, you know, it's it's worth something. It's worth the the viewer's time. It's the same thing with my music. I'm not going to create a crap song and put it out there for the world to listen to, if they're not going to enjoy it and if I feel like they're not going to get anything out of it because they are paying for it. Well, with for streaming services now, they're not paying for it directly, but regardless. They are. They are, but they are paying for it, and I'm getting paid for it, so... 0. 0.00067 cents per stream. Something yeah, like I, I did a calculation the other day, and I think it was uh, something like a th $1,000 per million streams. Okay. So, so that's really not a lot of money at all. You can ba barely pay rent with that. Depends where you live. Depends where you live, but most places you can't pay with rent with $1,000. So... Yeah, it's, uh, I'm not a fan of social media, but, you know, I don't want to stray away too much from the topic, but I hope that, you know, Instagram removing the number of likes is going to give, you know, going to make Instagram a more authentic experience. And hopefully people will like the pictures because they are good and they enjoy that content. Not pictures, posts, because there's videos, there's GIFs, there's you know, all kinds of stuff that you can post now on Instagram. But I hope that this makes the Instagram experience a lot more authentic. And since we're talking about Instagram, why don't you guys follow us? I know we're not posting stuff at the moment, but we will be soon because he has an album coming up and so do I. So I promise you it's going to be worth it. And I think we're going to be posting, you know, our little chats here sure. often. So, but... I would like to offer you the more cynical <laughs> approach to this yes. like removal fiasco that's going on. Tell me. I think Instagram has <laughs> themselves because it is designed to be a game. You have only one option. You can like, and if you like, you can comment, but you don't have to. And that's the kind of value of what it is. Everybody's competing with each other. How many likes have you got? How much likes does this post have? How many likes does that post have? So they removed the cru most crucial element of the game. Now who cares? See, that's the thing. They haven't removed it for all the countries. I think Canada, this is happening in Canada as a Japan. test. And in Japan, it's, it's just a few countries. And yeah. I think if that doesn't work out there, yeah. then it's, it's not going to be rolled out to the rest of the world. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the, what they're doing will f*** the company but they're not stupid enough to just go straight away all in, all mm. over the world. They're going to test it out on a small market. And 
see that it's not good for them? Honestly, I hope that they remove the number of legs, but I don't think they will. It's the nature of, of the beast. Hmm. I mean... I don't know. I... I don't like everything I see, but I look at things sometimes. Yeah. And some things that I, uh, that I like more, I will look at it for a while, but I will not click the like button. I mean, you're right. For me, I, I started liking posts a lot less, but I think if there's, a, if there's a post that is so good, whether it's, you know, visually appealing or if it's like a musician who posts a really nice song or if it's a tech review, I'm, I'm a huge fan of tech reviewers. So like I geek out on their videos and I follow a lot of them. So if, if, a, if a post is engaging enough to me, I will feel compelled to comment, but I won't like it. Like, I feel like liking is just a waste of time. I'm just, you know, there's no contribution from my side to, to the person who actually posted this content. So I feel like a comment from me would be a lot more useful because it shows that somebody's actually engaging with their post. Well, you're adding currency with your like. Yes. I mean, the, whoever, who's ever material you are liking becomes more marketable or more successful. Right. Because of your like, they, the comments are good, but they're secondary to the likes. No, but here's the thing. People can actually buy likes now. And I know a lot of people oh, yeah. who buy their followers, who buy their likes, and it's, it's, it's ridiculous, but I know why they're doing it, but I feel like by doing it, you're just, you know, kind of supporting the, I don't have the words for it. You're, you're the one with the words. It's, do you know what I mean? Like, I, I know it's wrong to do it and they do it in spite of it being wrong. And, I think and they're I know just, what you're trying yeah, to say. Yeah, say it. So basically, we're advertising ourselves. If you would like our likes, we are willing to accept money and we will like all of your posts. We don't ask for a lot of money. Actually, that's not what I'm saying at all. <laughs> I got you. So we will like everything you have, regardless of how bad it is. Even if it's good, we will like it for a bit extra. We will leave comments. Oh, we will leave comments. That's not what I'm saying. Oh. Okay. Sorry. What I'm okay. What I'm saying is, <laughs> so if somebody has an account that's not doing so well, so you're not getting a lot of followers, you're not getting a lot of likes or engagement on your posts, and you end up buying followers. Not from us, from these companies that sell followers and sell likes and sell fake engagement. The farms. The farms, yes. So I, I understand why you're doing it because you feel like you need to compete with all these accounts that have all these huge numbers. And, you know, it, it's very tempting to do, but I think by engaging in it and actually doing it, you're hurting yourself and you're hurting everybody around you who is actually working hard to produce really good content that deserves to be seen and do, do you know what I mean? Like, uh, am I making sense now? Yes, but it's very noble and... Uh, it's not noble. I, I feel like it's just, it's just right. You need, we it's need not to, reality. It's not reality, but we need to stand up and do what's right. Because the more we do what's wrong, just because we want to follow a trend or because we want to be more popular. The, the, the crazy thing is, is that you're really not that popular. You, you, you don't become any more popular by buying likes or buying followers because all of these are bots. Nobody actually really does like you or appreciate what you're trying to do. It's much, all fake. It's just for show. How much does it cost to buy some likes? It's not that expensive. What's, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Honestly, I, I can't. I don't know what it costs because I've, I've never looked at it. So we'll look it up. I'll probably put the number on the video. But... I don't think it's much. You're not paying like $10,000 or something. It's, it's probably peanuts, like $100 or $200. It's but, probably cheaper and safer than going out on the streets and buying drugs. It's actually the same thing because you're, yes. you're feeding this addiction to, yes. you know, yeah. But it's cheaper and it's, it's less dangerous. It's absolutely cheaper. Maybe it's less dangerous for the one person, but it's actually very dangerous to a lot of people who look up to these people with big numbers and, you know, they feel like they need to follow the same path or also have a lot of numbers to, to, to validate their existence and to feel important. So you may not be hurting yourself, but you're hurting a lot of people out there who don't have um, the confidence and, and, the, and the realization that numbers are not everything, you know? But this is the world that's been laid out for us or how it's become. Yeah. And it's up to you whether you want to reject it or not. 
And some people still want to play the game because they have 20 million followers or whatever it is. And it's very profitable for them. So it's not in their interest that the like system is removed because they are no longer... Actually, because they have access to their numbers, I don't think it's going to hurt influencers and people who actually have real followers and real engagement because... Do you think they all have real followers and real engagement? The ones who have real followers, yes. I think they'll be okay. The ones with... The ones who actually buy their likes are going to be in trouble because you can actually spot the patterns of of liking or following and unfollowing. So when a company, for example, if I'm a high brand company and I go to you because you have a lot of followers, I'll tell you, give me a report of your engagement or your followers or whatever. And they can actually spot the, the patterns of, of weird activity. And there are actually a lot of websites now that you can go to that will reveal who has real followers and real engagement and who doesn't. And it's so sad because I know, I know personally a lot of people who bought a lot of followers and likes and I've never said anything about it because I, I understand why they're doing it, but I, I don't feel good about them doing it. But I think people with real engagement and real followers are going to be okay because they can always prepare a report that is real and authentic and companies will still pay for that, you know, for that exposure that they're providing. Hmm. Where can I buy these followers? No. I don't have that many and I feel I'm kind of selling myself short on the dopamine fix from getting likes. I think I could be a happier person if I just... I like your posts. Me. Yeah, but you're one. I, I like all your I posts. I need like a hundred Omars to like things daily. Well, hopefully with this podcast, people are going to give us a lot more likes and follows. So we'll see. We'll see. But uh, shall we wrap it up here? I think we could. I think this is a this is a, a nice uh, place to end this. Please, guys, do not buy, buy your followers. Do not buy your likes because Instagram is going to Instagram is going to remove. If Instagram does remove the number of likes on your posts, then your entire purpose for buying the likes is really moot. You know, there's it's no use to you if people are not going to see the numbers. Save your money. Invest in better equipment and a trip somewhere. Have fun, enjoy your life. Life is too short to waste on comments and engagement and followers. You're so noble, so right. So detached from the reality which is so dirty and disgusting. Am I? Okay, well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. We will see you next time. Peace. Peace. Why did I say peace? I don't say that in real I life. I don't know. Okay, bye. <laughs>